What's up? <clears throat> Dozy here today. Today I'm bringing you a knife. I won't say it's going to be a review. I'm just going to go ahead and spit it out here. This is a a gift that was given to me by my father for Christmas. Uh, this is something that you probably won't ever see me wear. Um, it's kind of a pretty knife. Something I would more along the lines of collect, keep you know, keep it put away, maybe get it out, show it from time to time. So to me, it's not very well made. It's just a, a real pretty knife. So let's go ahead and get this review out of the way here. Tell you something, tell you a few things about it. Uh, first of all, it's made by Uncle Henry. Uh, part number one five three U H. This is the uh, Uncle Henry Golden Spike fixed blade knife. Comes with a very nice sheath. Uh, also comes with a little pocket here in the front to uh, hold a uh, uh, a little sharpening stone. But to me, this is uh, really not the kind of stone that you want to. It won't put a fine edge on your knife. It's just the stone is way too rough. So you can get a nice look at it. It's just way too rough to me. A a proper, more proper stone to be inside of here would be like an Arkansas or something like that. So we'll just leave that in there, tucked in there. All right. It does have some really nice snaps to it. <clears throat> it does have a strap and snap to keep the knife firmly in place. I mean, it's, it ain't going anywhere. Very nice sheath again. Um, nice belt loop right here. Nice and wide. Uh, really made nice stitching over the entire sheath itself. Go ahead and get the knife out for you here. That's a very highly polished blade. Let's see, the blade is, I believe, five inches long. Steel is made, uh, it's a stainless steel, but they see, I'm sorry, a 7CR17 high carbon stainless. It's got the uh, <clears throat> brass uh, finger guard right here, notched out. This is a fake uh, stag horn, or what they call a, a stag on handle. You can see that, you know, you can see the crease down the center right here where it was, uh, it's, uh, does, it is a two-piece handle, but I don't see any, um, any brass pins or anything going through it, so to me, it, the handle would be the first thing that'll fell on it. Uh, it does have a brass butt guard with a, to me, that was cheaply made right there with a brass screw going through it. Supposedly the tang goes all the way to the end, and that's what the screw ties into, according to their website. Uh, like I say, both sides are, I mean, this is really polished. Uh, overall length is nine and, nine, nine and a quarter inches. It does have a limited lifetime warranty. It weighs 0.74 pounds, so less than a pound. It is a little heavy on the heavy side. Um, I found it as cheap as twenty twenty six dollars on Amazon, and I found it as as much as forty five dollars on Amazon. I think that's the retail price is forty five, but I don't think they're going to sell a lot of these. If anybody, if anybody's a real knife collector. Or someone who actually is going to carry this and use it in the field. You can find something way better than this knife. Um, like I say, it's something that I'm just going to hang on to. It was given to me by my dad. <coughs> I did like the brass finger guard and the brass butt uh, butt on the, um, on the handle. Very nice touches. Uh, I don't get why they call it a golden spike. There's nothing golden on here. Unless, you know, I just want a, a gold tint on the handle. And um, maybe some gold. Maybe the the gold on the brass. I don't know really. I don't I don't get it. So I think they could have called it a better name than the Golden Spike. Because me, when I think of Golden Spike, I think of, you know, Railroad. Things like that. Um, the blade shape is really nice. Uh, 
what do they call this again? It's um, man, I wish I could remember what they call this 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 blade shape again. I can't think of it right now. But the um, <clears throat> I'm looking over my notes here. I'm trying to trying to read everything I wrote down. Uh, the sheath itself is a chest, what they call a chestnut brown, and uh, the the snaps are really nicely made. That was a real nice add-on. But uh, overall, I give the knife a C, maybe a C plus. I guess say it's nothing I'm going to use out in the field. I'm not going to skin a deer with it. It's just going to be something I hang on to. So anyway, that was my knife review for today. Um, if you like it, smash that like button. Uh, if you don't, tell me the reason why. It's all good. Uh, to all my subscribers, thanks for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I do try to do uh, some knife reviews from time to time. A lot of hunting and camping, survival stuff. So, um, once again, this is Dozer. And uh, see you in the next video.